Okay, Jordan Brand, I see you, I see you. What's good, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. JD here with yet another review for you guys. The Jordan 1 High. Over the last few years, it has been criticized by a lot of people that we have been seeing way too many colorways, and also colorways that seem to look very similar to each other. But the sneakers that I will be talking about in this video really do stand out from the rest. I will be reviewing the Jordan 1 High in the Atmosphere colorway. So what's good guys and welcome back. I hope you guys are killing it so far in 2022. If you're new here, my name is Josh. You can call me JD. If you love sneaker content and you like chill vibes to go along with it, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. It really does help me out. And while you're at it, make sure you follow me on TikTok as well as Instagram, dropping quite a bit of content on there as well. So in this video, I will be breaking down these Jordan ones right here. I'll talk about what makes this colorway rather special. I'll talk about the quality of the materials. We'll cover sizing. Of course, we will talk about what these are going for right Right now on the resale market and as always i will be giving you guys that on feet look so make sure you stick around until the end of this video so the jordan one high atmosphere or they're even calling this the bubblegum colorway these sneakers were a woman's exclusive released released worldwide on january the 29th and from what i've seen they weren't that limited most people that i know that went for the shoe managed to cop a pair of course this sneaker like most jordan ones nowadays immediately sold out but what makes this sneaker so popular and coveted is the use of a color that we don't normally see on Jordan 1s and that of course is pink. Pink is a super rare color on Jordan 1s. There's just been a few that I can think of. Probably the most grail worthy of them all was that Jordan 1 Rust Pink which was a Art Basel exclusive a few years ago and just look at what those are going for right now on StockX. I mean that is some astronomical prices and a few years ago we had the Jordan 1 Crimson Tint which featured much more of a black base. On this particular shoe there's three main colors of course that most prominent one is this atmosphere color which can be described as a very light pink you see that on the toe box as well as the heel counter of the shoe you also get these nice white leather mid panels and the other color that you see on the mud guard as well as the eyelets of the shoe is this obsidian color. When I first saw this sneaker in pictures, I actually thought this was more of a black colorway, but it's actually this obsidian color, which we've seen before on the Jordan 1 obsidian. And this can be described as a very dark navy blue. It's personal preference, but I would have preferred a black color here rather than the obsidian. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. You also see the same colorway on the box of the shoe. And I've said this before, I really Really appreciate whenever Jordan brand does this I love when they match the box to the colorway of the shoe I know there's some traditionalists who just want to see the red and black Jordan 1 boxes every time but I definitely prefer when they customize the boxes as a sneaker collector the one thing I find really funny about the shoe however is the other name which is the Jordan 1 bubblegum and that is because Jordan brand says they were inspired by all the bubblegum that Michael Jordan used to chew I found that pretty funny I feel like they're really stretching it a little bit when it comes to these inspirations I guess it's been like almost 40 years of producing the same shoe. So they're running a little bit thin on storylines. I wouldn't be surprised if five years from now they drop a colorway and they're like, oh yeah, this was inspired by the underwear that MJ wore when he did his Hall of Fame speech. Like we don't need a storyline every time, man. Just say, hey, it's a pink Jordan 1 inspired by bubblegum, man. Get the f I will say though, I like that little detail on the outsole. You see the little bubblegum motif there, which makes it look like you stepped on some bubblegum. Yeah, that's a pretty cool little detail. Let's get into the materials. The entire upper of the sneaker is done in leather, but the pink sections of the shoe feature like a very glossy finish. It's not patent leather. It's normal leather, which I think has a layer of some kind of plastic on it to give it that glossy look. The rest of the shoe, however, especially these white sections are done out of this very nice soft tumble leather. And the leather on the obsidian sections is pretty good as well. These women's exclusive Jordan 1s, I feel, have been getting all the good leather. Even those court purples that released last year have featured some of the best leather on the Jordan 1 last year. The laces that come standard with the shoe are these obsidian laces, which matches the tongue, and I do think that looks pretty good. But I also went ahead and switched them out for the atmosphere colored laces that come with the pair, and I actually think I like these better. It's not very often we get pink laces on a Jordan 1, and I do think they look great on this colorway. Let me know down in the comments 
what do you guys think about the pink laces versus the obsidian ones and also you get a pair of white laces if that's your thing for sizing on these if you are big feet gang like myself or if you wear a size us men's 11 or higher then we already took l's before the shoe even released because they didn't even make these in our size the highest size that these come in is a men's 10 and a half i actually did go ahead and cop these in my girlfriend's size so she'll be doing the on feet and these do fit like every other jordan one which in my experience is true to size if you've worn nike dunks before it's the same size as nike dunks or it's a half size higher than your air force ones let's have a look at what these are going for right now on the resale market prices aren't too bad however they are a bit higher in the bigger men's sizes at least for now and i guess overall the prices are slightly higher than what we've seen on recent jordan ones these days personally i do think that these will continue to rise in price kind of like those jordan one c foams those c foams when they first released they were going for pretty much retail this one right here is a very unique colorway on a jordan one we don't see too many pink shoes so i'm fairly certain that these are going to rise in price especially as we get into the summer so if you guys were looking at copping yourself a pair i would suggest getting them right now before those prices start to shoot up let's wrap this thing up overall the jordan one in the atmosphere or bubblegum colorway are these a cop or a drop my honest opinion this is one of the better colorways on a jordan one over the last couple years there are a couple things i would have done differently with the shoe like the glossy looking pink leather i would have just had that as a matte pink and i probably would have switched out the obsidian for a basic black but besides that i really do think this colorway let's just call them the pink toe jordan ones these are great i think if you have a men's size 10 and a half or below for me these are a must cop if you love jordan ones the on feet about to drop right now once again do not forget to subscribe to the channel hit that red button it helps me out a ton thank you guys so much for helping me hit 60k recently appreciate all of the support on the channel and i will see you guys next time peace